First off, we'll go ahead and take off the dust cap. Uh, in this case, it's the bearing buddy. Next is taking out the, the locking pin. The cotter pin that goes through the center here. But once you get that lock washer off, you just go ahead and just take off the, the nut. And pull your whole hub off. Now we're going to go ahead and inspect the hub and bearings here. I got the bearings on the top for, on the outside. We just wipe them down really good, and clean them up. When you get down to the rollers here, you want to make sure there's no chips or discoloration. And you can see wear marks is fine, very slight wear marks, but you don't want to see any discoloration whatsoever. Now that's all good. Take a look at the outside edge of the cage itself. Make sure it's not dented up or anything like that. When you drop them, they can get dented up pretty easy and you have to get a new bearing. Let's clean up really good, get all the grease out of it. You don't want to mix two different types of greases together. What happens is that the grease will probably can deteriorate faster than normal or not have the same wear properties as pure grease. So it's always a good idea to get as much as you can out of there and you can start with fresh grease. You see your rollers are all nice and shiny, hardly any wear marks at all. So that means it's been sitting there just fine. It had plenty of grease, so we'll just go ahead and just put some more grease in there and put it back together. Take out a seal, there's no real good way of doing it. Um, one way is just go use a small chisel, old screwdriver, what, but just get in behind the seal here and get an edge behind it and pop it out is usually the best way of going about it. And then push it up to one side. And pop it out. Make sure when you go through you don't damage your bearing, but you'll check that out once you clean that one up too. Yeah, as you can see here, we got our bearing clear, cleaned up here. And again, there's you know, just a little bit of wear. You can see it, but if you can't touch it or feel it with your fingernail or anything like that, chances are you're, you're good to go. Again, check the cage around the bearing. That's nice. Um, so as long as it stays around, we're good. Now, since there's grease contaminated in this one, we're going to clean out the whole inside of the, the drum itself. And also, so we have to get down to the races and inspect those next. Same procedure for the bearings. Just go ahead and get them cleaned off as good as you can. And again, wear is okay, but no, the gouges are not. So you can just run your finger over it. Or try to catch something with the fingernail. Again, then if you don't feel anything, then you're in pretty good shape. Make sure there's no discoloration. So that's fine. The chances are if the bearing looks good, the race is gonna look good too. Uh, so we don't want to take these out. So you do the same thing, flip it over, and check the other side. All right, next we'll go ahead and start repacking the hub. You just take a little bit and put it right where the race is. The bearing will ride in that surface. In a way, too much is never enough, but on the same token, anything that does not sit on the raceway is pretty much just wasted. Next thing you want to do is pack your bearing, palm your hand, and you can just start packing the bearing that way. Get it to get everything packed around inside there, and then we roll the rollers a bit to get it all worked in there. And then go ahead and put it in your hub. Basically what happens is the seal sits inside here and gets driven down equally all the way around to this top half is flush with the bottom half. You don't have to go any further. So basically you could use an oversized socket. Now we'll flip it over to the outside bearing and basically do the same thing over again. It's also a good idea to put a light coat of grease on the spindle to help ease the bearings back on to it. Take it out as far as you can go. Then we'll reinstall. We're gonna put our, our flat washer on there. All right, we'll put our castle nut back on. We're gonna take our channel locks here and just run it down so it stops and back it off a few times. Just get a feel for it. Make sure the hub spins okay. 
one of these pins covers up the hole, just go ahead and back it off one, and that's the proper adjustment. When you have it adjusted, you go ahead and install your cotter pin, bring it around. You can bring this one around too, or you can cut off the tip here. And then you can put your dust cap back on. To get it started, you can use a wooden block to drive the rest of it in. 